Lesson 28, you cannot pour from an empty cup. Now I've had to look at this really quite a lot in the last 12 months since starting my own business. I'm aware that I have a tendency to use work as a coping mechanism when I don't want to feel something. If I have had a disagreement with my partner or I've been triggered by something, I will actually observe myself. It's almost like I'm like up there watching myself, (laughs) kind of like walking into my office and I'll sit down and I'll just start working to avoid the feeling. So I have to be really conscious to not slip into workaholism. And one of the ways that I do this is to actually schedule self-care in my calendar because I know me, if it's not in there, it won't happen. Particularly when you work for yourself, when you run your own business, there is always something that can be done. And particularly these days when you can work from your phone, like I don't even have to be in my office to be working. So what I do is I schedule this self-care time and I try and do it once a week but I'll be completely honest with you all it's probably more like once a fortnight (laughs) and what happens in this time is I treat myself I do something like it's not like I just say okay it's time to switch off go sit on the couch and watch Netflix it's go and treat yourself so that might be a massage or a facial or something that allows me to actually relax, switch off, not have my phone in my hand and actually feel good. Like I'm giving myself a bit of love and a bit of nurturing. But like I said, if if it's not scheduled, it's not going to happen. So I make sure that I'm doing things that will allow me to fill my own cup so that I can then do my job and give back to others. 